Hello everyone. We will continue the topic session method. And we will cover a important parameter hold date in the session method. Now I will go to the program in which we used the session method. If you see, we have a parameter here, hold date. What is hold date? Word itself is saying, if you will pass a date in front of this parameter, whatever the date you are passing. So after that, whenever you will go to SM35, that session you cannot process till that particular date. Suppose I will pass that 29th. So I cannot process the session till 29th. That session is on hold till 29th. I can process after 29th only. So this parameter is used to lock a session. Suppose I will go for the demo and show you. Suppose I'm uncommenting this parameter and in front of this parameter, suppose I will pass psi data. Psi datum is a system variable for date. It means it will take that today's date, 29th June. I will check the syntax and activate. You can pass hard coding any date also. It's your wish. I'm running the program. Firstly, I will change the data in the file. Suppose I will go for materials, suppose 67, 68, 69, suppose 40, 41. I will save this notepad. Now I will process. I will upload the file. Now I will go for execute. So now session entry will be there in SM35. So I will go to SM35. You can see we have the entry, but if you will see, we have the today's date in the lock date column. It means this session is locked or this session is on hold till 29th June. If I will go for processing of this session, you can see it is not allowing me to process. It is saying the session is locked. It means after 29th only I can process this session. Important parameter which is used to lock a session for a particular date. Now we will go for the summary of the session method. What are the various things we learned in the session method? In session method, you used three SAP function modules, BDC open group, BDC insert, BDC close group. Now, after that, you are running the program. After running the program in SM35, a entry will be there for that particular session. It means you can process the session in case of session method through which transaction code SM35. We have three processing modes, foreground, display errors, only background. These are equal to A, N and E modes of call transaction method all screen error and no screen modes of call transaction method. After that, we also covered if you are passing keep is equal to X, it will keep the session after processing. But if you are passing keep is equal to space, process session entry will not be there, but log will always be there. After that, we covered the parameter hold date whenever you want to lock a particular session till a particular date 
you can use this particular parameter hold date. So we fully covered the call transaction method. We fully covered the session method. In the next video, we will go for detailed difference between both of them. We did the practical, but we should know the advantage or disadvantage of both the methods. So in the next video, we will cover the difference between both the methods. One important point, these two methods are collectively called as batch input methods. So call transaction method and session method of BDC are collectively called as batch input methods. So next in the next video, we will go for the difference between these two types of methods. Thank you.